Hey, it's Del from Let's Get Inky and I've got a little flip through for you today. Now, stop. Before you go any further, if you don't want to listen to the long chatty version, I'm also uploading a quick version just to music. So you'll find the link in the description to the other video. So make sure you go watch that one if you're not in the mood to listen to the chat. Um, but this is my 100 day project. And if you haven't watched already, I had a video up at the start of April uh, with my 100 day project plans and what it is. Essentially, it's created by these two fantastic creative women. I think her name is Elle, one of them, and one of them is Lindsay. Uh, I'll put a link to the website below and it's a free, just a, a challenge to kind of give yourself a little bit of mojo and you pick something creative to do for 100 days. It could be knitting, it could be writing a song, it could be I don't know anything you like baking a cake every day for a hundred days anything creative that you'd like I decided to write a letter to Archie every day in this little journal well one of many journals uh, in my little traveler's notebook it's a passport size and I am loving it I am sharing every single day over on Instagram if you don't follow me over there I'm just inky quill and um, or you could look up the hashtag Adele does 100 inky days uh, and you'll be able to see them all there but I I think it's a it's a really nice time to kind of make myself be creative a lot of the time I feel like we're going deep here peeps we're going deep and and therapeutic here but I feel like if I create something off camera I feel guilty about it because I should film it so that I can share it with you guys and I kind of got into a bit of a uh, just after we moved I think and my time was very limited because we were still unpacking and things um, but I felt like if I made something and didn't film it I was just wasting time and then causing myself to be delayed with videos later on but this is giving me permission to every night before bed Aaron and I both sit down he's doing uh, a sketch every day if you follow him on Inky Beard he shares his too on Instagram and it just gives me some time just to sit and create something and then I can kind of justify I guess you could say that with myself because I get to do these monthly end of the month flip throughs for you so enough rambling also before I go on any further some more rambling but let me know in the comments if you're taking part in the 100 day project as well if you have only just heard about it it's not too late just jump on whenever you can um, there's no pressure to to do it uh, use the hashtag the 100 day project and you'll be able to see lots of other people's ideas and things too I know they do do an online course which is about five or six hundred dollars uh, but don't think that's you need to do that to do this it's literally just choosing something fun to do for 100 days anyway how many times can I say 100 days in this video let's get started so this was a page that I did on that first video which I'll also link down below um, which is where I introduced the 100 day project and what I was doing and I just I love him and even though this was April 3rd 2018 that photo is not from April 3rd he's over a year old now so he's a little bit younger here uh, but I I put it there just because I love it and because I could and my plan is to maybe give this to Archie on his 18th birthday I think possibly um, we'll see we'll see how we go but definitely something that I, I want him to keep and treasure uh, and hold on to I've been using my vin oh, it's not vintage no I've been using my retro uh, electric typewriter and I love it it's if you follow me on patreon uh, you would have heard the funny ghost kind of encounter or spiritual encounter that I had with I think my grandfather and the typewriter that's the if you haven't watched that video yet and you're one of my patreon peeps um, it's the Anzac Day video and I had a bit of a spooky encounter with my typewriter but since that time it's worked perfectly it's it's weird um, but I have been using that and I absolutely love it the great thing about an electric typewriter is that you don't have to smash the keys like you do with uh, manual typewriters I 
I have seven manual typewriters. I'm a little bit of a typewriter hoarder. Uh, I just love the way that the font looks and just the typewriters themselves look as well. Uh, so the electric one is definitely my choice if you're using it in projects to use. See if you can find one on, uh, if you're an Aussie, if you can find it on Gumtree or Americans, you can find it on Craigslist, I think that's what you have, or any bargain kind of classified sections in your country. I picked mine up cheap there. I'm, I'm try at the start I was doing double pages for the letters, but then I realized it was going to take up a lot of space. So here is another double page one. I've, I've tried to use some pieces that are older in my stash. So there's a lot of uh, open book and mm, maybe poolside crepe paper bits and pieces here. I've also used some bits from my Patreon. And I kind of alternate, not necessarily in order, but I change between typewriter and handwritten. And the way that I choose which one I want to do is uh, first, based on how much I want to say, I can fit a lot more handwritten than I can typewritten, 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 typed. Let's go with typed. That's the word I need. Uh, and I also with the background. So this was quite a, not a busy, oh, it's a little bit busy background. So it's a lot easier to see the typewriter strips on there. Whereas this is just gray and my writing looks it shows up perfectly well on there as well. I am calling him a different name every time. Uh, we'll see if I can get a hundred names. So far so good. I think I'm up to like 35 different names for him. Uh, and I'm enjoying using some things that I used to love and have forgotten about as well. So here I've got a little glassine bag and I just, that was a, was it a Project Life card or it might have no, it was a cut apart. So this was a cut apart from, a, I think it was crepe paper confetti paper. And because that background was very busy and would have been too hard to see my journaling on, I just stuck a shipping tag on top. And then over this side, I mean, I could have, if I wanted to, done something on the back, but I kind of like the three because there's the three of us in our little Toomey clan. Don't tell the rabbits. I, I did just kind of miss them out in that counting, but they're included too. And Leo the fish. Mm, can't forget Leo the fish. So next up I here I've got a um, one of my Patreon printables from January and these cards have been floating around my stash for ages and I've loved them but never known how to use them because they're too big for I did just I did chop off a little bit I think uh, they're too big for a project life pocket but they're also kind of too big for a layout especially if it was an eight and a half by eleven one or a six by twelve one and so I just kind of keep them floating but this was the perfect opportunity to use them here like I was saying before I always look at the background and see if it's too busy uh, this was very busy this was a page from a very damaged children's golden book and so I just typed up my journaling and then there's a DIY embellishment that I've made as well I'm also using the same stamp on every day and I will oh, I'll show you I ran into a conundrum with that um, but I'm using the same stamp every day and it's a Heidi Swap one with just some black dilutions ink and then I love this <laughs> Uh, my friend and I went through a stage where we would take cute photos of Archie and put them into Meme Creator, which is an amazing app on your phone where you can put text on top of uh, photos and turn them into memes. And so we had fun sending them back and forth to each other. And then here's another little DIY embellishment I made. And I just love writing on hand handwriting practice note paper. I just love it. Um, the reason why... And this one, I kind of just felt like, oh, my phone's not on silent. Sorry about that. I kind of felt like I, I just wanted to add some more photos in there because we've had, there was a lot of text and then I just, I felt like doing some photos. So some pages, like I said, are double, some are only single sided. It all depends on my mood. Here I used a white Uniball Signo pen in the broad tip and it's my favorite white pen to write with because it is broad, it is quite thick compared to say my normal 
black pen um, but it works just as well these are some DIY embellishments that I filmed I think on a patreon video possibly uh, a little photo of the three of us and then this was uh, I think I made this using the April citrus twist kit I forgot to share that actually uh, the pocket life kit and so I just used a project life card and then I love leatherette stickers they feel so lovely and then this one I didn't know what to do because it's very texty and I thought if I hand wrote over the top of this it would be too hard to see way too hard but then if I did the typewriter strips over the top it would kind of cover up all of the beautiful words so I decided to just make it into a bit of a, a filler card and then we have another DIY embellishment I made and then a little scrap of uh, graph paper this is the original for one of my patreon printables for april i believe and i made this and then scanned it in and made it a, a printable and then these are some more of the printables for april as well the link to my patreon is always in the uh, description below if you want to know more about it and what you get for the different amounts uh, per month i love this part. this is one of my I think it's one of my favorites because I really put in some effort <laughs> let's be real sometimes I can whip up some of these like that one probably took five minutes uh, that one definitely took five minutes because that was already made two strips of washi and then writing that down whereas sometimes they take a little bit longer like this one took a little bit longer because there was lots of different layers and bits and pieces this one took a while but I think it was worth it in the end then I just wrote on here for this. I'm loving using the American Crafts sticker books for this because there's so many stickers in there and a lot of them I might not typically reach for on a scrapbook page. So something like this hello there I probably wouldn't reach for because I'd use my thickers for a title or I'd brush script my own title. Uh, and so using those words is perfect for a project like this. So if you've got a sticker book lying around, chuck it in with your supplies because it, it does help a lot. And then on to the middle of the book here so these are some more patreon printables and then i just did a bit of turquoise paint in the background oh we've gone a bit brighter there i don't know why we've gone brighter there we go i'm also trying to use my stamps a little bit um, some tiny word stickers that i made and then moving on if there's a, a page that has a bit of a busier background like this house one uh, I do often just put paint over the top of it because you can still see the edges of the page and edges of the pattern work, but you can give it a bit more uh, cleanliness so that you can write on it easier there's this one I I don't plan out what I'm going to write I'd kind of just see if there's anything that day that kind of sparks something so in here there's the day that he took his first um, few steps and then his first sleepover at grandma's house and there's just a, a lot of fun memories that may have gone not forgotten but mm, journaled later I guess it's it's nice journaling them on the day that they actually happen uh, you'll see a lot of pink in here and Archie's a boy but that doesn't matter I don't I don't really believe in you know certain colors being you have to everything has to be blue because he's a boy um, I'm a girl I'm making this and I like pink so I'm gonna splash some pink in there I've got some vintage some uh, beautiful subscriber sent me some vintage stamps and so I was sticking some of those in and then more of those uh, clear Maggie Holmes stickers from this uh, American Craft sticker book. Now this is when I had a dilemma. I forgot to stamp. No, something has gone on here with the stamp with the letters. I have got to work it out because they stamped wrong. So I've got the twenty-first there, but there's no letter. So I have to work it out. Something went on with the st Oh, maybe it was right and I redid it all for no reason. Possibly. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Um, and then this is one of my favourites as well. 
stop being so bright Mr. Camera. I used, I did a video um, over here on Let's Get Inky a few weeks ago which was a journal page and I used the drop sheet that I put under my projects as the background and so I had a little bit of that a little strip left on my desk and I thought why not stick it on so I stuck that on and then I just really love how like visual this page is it's not busy like like my usual but it's just so makes you look at it uh, and I love the ghost stamping here as well this one was a bit of a busy page so I did some painting here and then a tag that I had previously made and then in here we have, I'm not going to be able to get this in now, um, I stuck down a little paper bag and then wrote the, the letter on um, a tag and on a card and then a little photo of Poppet and Frida. Let's see if this will fit in. Please go in. Oh, we have a miracle. So that kind of bulked up the book a lot. So if you don't want to have a bulky book, don't do things like that. And then by this point, it was starting to get a little bit difficult to write on this side. So I was enjoying writing on something else and then sticking it in. In this one, I wrote on a just a Project Life card that I had lying around. And then the next day, I just wrote on the back. And I have up close photos on my Instagram. Don't forget if you want to see any of these in detail. This one I was planning on writing here, but then I thought, nah, let's just put an embellishment there because we're very wordy already. And then I did this one. This was a piece of tissue paper that a subscriber sent me, which was very pretty. And it's got like little sequiny bits in it. And then we have this one. This, this is a quick page to do. This one, of course, I needed something to put over this book page because it was just way too busy. These, this one I actually did while I was away at a scrapbook retreat and I had these left over from a project, oh, from a layout I made, which, yeah, I, I, I made that layout. I haven't shared that one yet. Um, I made a layout while I was at the retreat and I had a couple of hearts left over, so I just stuck them on there. And then almost done did that one was a very quick one to do but some days they are just quick and some days I want to put in more effort and it works out well so we've gone into May whoopsies pretend you haven't seen these and these pretend we stopped here there we go <laughs> and I'll do a May flip through once we get through May but I hope you enjoyed this and I really want to thank everyone for all of the beautiful um, comments and feedback that I've got on Instagram every day from the photos it really means a lot seeing uh, what you guys think of this and um, hearing people try wanting to try this at home with their kids as well um, I think it's a it's it's been one of my favorite projects to date I think and I can't wait until it's all finished I have started my have started the next little journal um, and I think I think we're a third of the way through so I, I honestly think it'll be I've made four journals um, we'll see how we'll see how we go with that it may it may be three I might be able to squeeze it into three if I do some that are single-sided like this uh, but yeah well we'll see what happens let's be real I am going to need another traveler's notebook let's be honest here <laughs> um, but I might even have a go at making maybe making my own one maybe that could be a video I can do with you guys anyway thanks so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and give me a comment uh, your interaction with my channel really does help me out and it helps my channel be discovered by new inklets that don't even know about me and my little channel and it makes them get their inky on I guess um, thanks so much and I hope you have a lovely weekend it's Friday celebrate have a good time well it's Friday here it's probably it may very well be Thursday where you are right now because I put my videos up at 7 a.m. Um, Aussie time well Sydney Aussie time we have like three or four time zones I think three four four when it's daylight savings anyway tangent all right guys i'll see you in the next video bye